That's one of the points we have. Presentation. Presentation that we want to low electric rates to be even better for the electric show. I want to thank everybody for coming today. I'm here with the Wallingford Energy Conservation Commission because we worked with Stop and Shop to uh, get these installed through a grant by, from the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. And we're really happy to have these cars here today. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration so everybody can see how easy it is to charge these things and get some cheaper fuel for your vehicles. You just have to turn it on and then plug it in. Um, and you're getting fuel while you go shopping for your groceries and you get a great deal at here at Stop and Shop while you get a great deal on fuel. I'm just real thrilled to have these stations here and I'm real appreciative that Scott Germain was uh, brave enough <laughs> to put holes in this building and uh, put these stations in so that the public could use these these charging stations. He is the first uh, volunteer for a general public charging station in Wallingford. <laughs> so he's a pioneer. Scott is a pioneer, and we're very proud of him. Um, there will also be one. There is one currently at, at an auto dealer, but it's only open during the auto dealer's uh, uh, daytime hours. And then there will be one at the uh, new train station, which will be up and operating in 2016. But right now, if you're traveling through Wallingford or commuting from Wallingford, this is it. You come here to. <laughs> The north side of Stop and Shop and uh, two charging stations. Uh, also with us today is um, uh, Commissioner Clee, who will who will speak in a few moments, and uh, Richard Vansky of the, who's the superintendent of the Wallingford Water Division, who uh, actually is driving an electric car, as well as Commissioner Clee, and and has his own charging station, but it's only for the water division, so the rest of us cannot use his. But he is uh, also a pioneer. <laughs> Why did you decide to be a pioneer, Scott? Well, actually, we decided to be pioneers when Mary came up to us and, and, and brought up the discussion on it. So um, I'm glad to do it. I'm glad we're, uh, uh, I guess, one of the first in the area to have our green. As you can tell by the green lines are on the car. Welcome to come down and use it. It's, it's open 24 hours a day, as we are. So. Rob Clee of the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, and we were overjoyed that he showed up today in an electric vehicle, uh, which is his regular car. So that was pretty impressive. Commissioner. Thank you, Mary. Um, thrilled to be, be here. And uh, yes, of course, I brought my electric car to an electric vehicle charging station uh, uh, event. And um, it's really, uh, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm Rob Clee, Commissioner of the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. Thrilled to be here to highlight this installation of two electric vehicle charging stations at a 24-hour uh, operation, the Stop and Shop here in Wallingford. That was made possible by a grant from EV Connecticut. That's our, our program to get charging stations spread around the state. There's a map up here that shows the uh, charging station infrastructure that has basically made Connecticut uh, one of the first, if not the first state in the nation where you are range confident, where there's always a charging station within 20 minutes or 20 miles of wherever you want to drive. I want to thank Mary for organizing this event, for getting me here. You have been a strong leading voice on environmental issues throughout your career, and it's really a, a thrill to be here. And I'll, I'll give you a, a, a shout out, recently acknowledged by the the National Sierra Club for all you've done to protect the environment here in Connecticut and around the region and frankly around the world. So your leadership on environmental issues is something I'm I'm thrilled to, to honor you for, for that and thrilled to be a part of, of this event. These sorts of things don't happen without dedicated local folks, Ben Martin, Chairman of the Wallingford Energy Conservation Commission, Richard Vansky, Scott Germain. You need all of those folks working together to get a project like this done because it is new, it is different, it is on the cutting edge, but the willingness to step up there is, is impressive. Um, also, really great work from, I have to give a shout out to my air management, our air bureau, um, the folks who are, are doing the, the EV uh, program. Dan Gobin is our bureau chief. Her staff loves these, these projects and these programs because these are not only cheaper to fuel, but they are zero emission vehicles when they're running on battery only. And zero emission is so important here from our local air pollution perspective, making sure that the, the nitrogen oxides, the sulfur dioxides, the things that are causing smog and respiratory distress are addressed by these vehicles. But then on the global scale, when you are charging with cleaner 
uh, grid electricity instead of your normal gasoline that helps reduce your carbon dioxide burden as well and address uh, greenhouse gases. Stop and Shop as a company has made a commitment to cutting its greenhouse gases and making other steps to reduce their environmental impacts and this is part of Stop and Shop's commitment so I commend Stop and Shop to having these free charging stations and you might hear from the background we're conveniently located on the intersection of a number of highways and major roads and that is important to have these vehicle charging stations in places that people want to go or people are passing by and to have a place like a 24-hour Stop and Shop to stop in and while you're getting the charge to go in and do shopping and, and go about your other business and that's really what's exciting is that intersection and Mary you're right having these at places where we work at places where we shop at places where we live those are the places that you have this charging infrastructure to make this this work uh, these are fun to drive these are great cars um, they're um, they are silent, uh, which is uh, interesting. Probably if you have kids in the back, maybe you want a little more noise. Um, and they're, uh, they are saving people money. You're, you avoid the gas station. That's a great thing to do. I always like going right by the gas station when I'm all electric on my, my bolt. The gasoline and diesel trucks on the road today, you hear one in the background, that's, that's good timing. <laughs> The largest source of our greenhouse gas emissions, 40% of our greenhouse gas emissions here in Connecticut come from the transportation sector. So we need more of these on the road. We're not going to solve the problem as Connecticut alone, but we're going to demonstrate how it can be done. And that's where Connecticut can lead and show examples of successful programs like our cheaper rebate program, a $3,000 on the hood of the car rebate program to get more people out there uh, experiencing these cars. I, I sound like a car salesman whenever I do this, but you can go on down. They're at the dealership. Come on down. They're, they're, they're great cars. Take them for a test drive. They're a lot of fun to drive. And with the $3,000 rebate, that's an innovative program here in Connecticut. That's, um, I will note that I was out in California uh, last week talking with the California Air Resources Board, who actually creates the regulations that we adopt here in Connecticut. And they are impressed with what we're doing here. They are looking to us as a California is looking to Connecticut as a model for our rebate program. Who would have who would have thunk it? Um, it's we have our, our charging stations. We have 187 across the state, 419 plugs. I talked about the $3,000 cheaper rebate program. We've issued uh, over 230 rebates. We have uh, over a million dollars uh, committed to continue that program. This is all in our goal to get over 3.3 million zero emission vehicles on the road by 2020. And I will announce today um, a special announcement. We're continuing our investment with making funds available uh, from the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, the REGI program, uh, our auction, our cap and invest auction program that cr generates proceeds for, uh, for states to use for uh, energy efficiency, renewable energy, and now here in Connecticut, funds available to increase the deployment of zero emission vehicles in fleets and in workplaces. So we are providing up to $15,000 towards the purchase of, a, of an EV for a fleet and up to $10,000 for chargers to municipalities and state agencies to get these vehicles as part of your fleet vehicles where they really are, are wonderful. They fit with the needs of a town, a municipality, places where you have a, a central parking area and folks who are going out for those short trips, those 10, 15 mile trips and then come back to that same charging facility. They can be all electric while they're out doing their, their municipal business, the state business and, and the like. And, and also incentives for workplace to install workplace charging. Cause again, having a charger where you're going uh, at your place of work is, is important. <laughs> all the details are found on our website at evconnecticut.com. And I'm, I'm thrilled to be here and, and thank you all for, for coming out. And thank you to Stop and Shop for, for being a leader in electric vehicles. Thank you, Commissioner. Richard, can you, you're also a pioneer because you've got one in your uh, in your uh, water division. Can you explain uh, how you use it and if it's been an advantage or not to your uh, division? Yes, uh, a couple of years ago, we entered this program with the state grant and we took on some new hybrids, uh, which have worked out very well uh, for as far as reducing gasoline usage. Uh, back in May of 14, we took on the uh, Chevy Volt, and uh, since that use, uh, we have one charging station that's for uh, that car use only at the water division, and uh, it's worked out very well. I, I use it, uh, at being the superintendent, I use it to uh, go out on water main breaks uh, in, in daily uh, activities. Uh, 
far as gas usage and, and charging, it cost me about two and a half cents a mile, as opposed to possibly nine to 10 cents a mile with gasoline. It has worked out very well, very well. And I, I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, and I'm glad we're doing our part uh, wherever we can. Are you gonna apply for the new grant? Oh, uh, this, yes, every year we have, except this year. Um, next year we probably will. Okay. Thank you for being a pioneer. Thanks. So uh, I just, again, I want to thank everybody for all the work that's being done on this. Um, we'll certainly be pushing the Wallingford Town to take advantage of this in all of their departments. Um, we certainly have vehicles that fit the mold, and um, if we can get some charging stations on the other side of town, that's even more advantageous. So um, again, I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to thank you for the program, and I just guess keep moving forward. So thanks, everybody.